Hold it. Is that the storage technology you're deploying in your server? Well, sure. Haven't you heard? IOPS are really good for application performance. Well, there's IOPS, and then there's NAND Flash. Here, try this. Hmm. Fusion I.O. Sounds delicious. But is it really higher in IOPS than my normal array of 15K hard drives? Take a guess. How many bowls of your disk drive's IOPS would it take to equal the IOPS in just one Fusion I.O. PCIe card? I don't know. Two? Guess again. Three. A little higher. Four? Keep trying. Okay, five. No, you'll have to do better than that. Seven. Guess again. Eight? We'll give you one more guess. Nine. Not even close. It would take over 600 bowls. To equal that much IOPS, you'd have to buy and deploy a disk array enclosure a day, every day, for almost six weeks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I think I get the picture. Fusion IO must be the highest concentrated IOP technology on the market. Well, that sure is a lot of IOPS of performance in all those bowls. Hi, I'm Chris Christian with Enterprise Product Group, but I'm here with Craig O'Connor, and today we're going to talk to you about the M610X Blade Server and the IO Drive and IO Drive Duo from Fusion IO and how it can help you in your data center. First off, I'd like to turn it over to Craig to talk a little bit about the technology behind Fusion IO and how it's applicable to the M610X. Thanks, Chris. You're exactly right. We're talking about a lot of IOPS through a single piece of hardware. Now what we offer is an IO drive and an IO drive duo. What we've done is taken NAND flash technology, put it all onto one PCIe card, and create a lot of high speed uh, storage traffic out of that. So what we've done, the 24 NAND flash chips plus the parity chip, all behind a single controller. In this one drive, we can have up to 100,000 IOPS and 700 megabytes a second. And it actually scales linearly with the more of these you put together, and that's what the IO drive duo is. 200,000 IOPS and 1.4 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. So, you know, by way of comparison, your typical low end SAN is about 120,000 IOPS, so that kind of throughput is uh, quite impressive. Now, another way that the Fusion IO uh, value prop gets to that speed is kind of uh, the path that the data takes through a normal server. Here is the M610X server with two PCIe slots. Now, normally when I have a program running, it sits here and, and resides in memory. Here are the two CPUs. And that memory, as it accesses data, it has to go out from memory down to the PCIe controller hub, out down, out down the wire through a network card, out down the uh, iSCSI or fiber channel network, out to an array of drives, where at that point the storage controllers have to spin up and do the read-write seeks out to the actual platters themselves of drives. Once that data is retrieved, that data has to follow that path all the way back through the storage controllers, all the way back down the wire, all the way back into the NIC card or other HBA, back into the IO controller hub and then back to the application in memory. That's quite a bit of time, that's quite a large path and it, it could be very susceptible to latency. With the Fusion IO value proposition, we have the PCIe card right here in the two PCIe slots of the M610X. So in the same type of situation with the application residing in memory, the path of the data goes from the memory to the IO controller hub straight to the PCIe card and then straight back. Significantly reducing the path that your data takes and also significantly reducing the amount of time to get that data to your application. So we talked a little bit about the PCIe technology uh, for the M610X. We've also talked a little bit about the NAND flash technology, but it goes beyond that. Fusion IO also has uh, some specific software features that also make this value proposition even more compelling. Craig, you can you tell us about those? Yeah, you're exactly right, Chris, and that's exactly where the true value proposition comes in from Fusion IO is the software. It's all commodity hardware. It's it's us differentiating ourselves from a true SSD. So what the software does that resides in our controller is basically remove those disk protocols that are inherently latency laden and a bottleneck for the, the disk drive itself. By being able to talk, have the CPU talk directly to the NAND flash, we're able to achieve not only IOPS, but when it comes to application performance, removing those latencies. And let's talk about that. From a performance perspective, we talked a lot of speeds and feeds, but what does it mean to you and your business? You know, with this kind of optimization and high seek times and extremely low latency and ridiculous IOPS, what does it mean to customers who are looking to deploy this kind of technology into their data center? 
what are some of the business use applications where Fusion I.O. really plays a, uh, an accelerating factor? Very good question, and it's actually a very good situation for a lot of data center customers. So we find a lot of use cases around transactional databases. So everything from Microsoft SQL to Oracle to MySQL and things along those realms. So we've come to find that generally applications that end users see as a bottleneck it all ties back to the database layer. So databases are a great fit for Fusion I.O. Not only that, virtualization has become a big push in the data centers themselves. We're actually able to drive many more VMs through a single server in virtualization than you could with typical storage. We actually had a demo at VMworld not too long ago where through a single Dell server and two Fusion I.O. cards stream 500 VMs simultaneously through this one server. I was actually uh, at VMworld 2010, and I think we have a picture of uh, what that looks like. We'll go ahead and put that up there on the screen for you. And as you can see, there's actual visual, re visual representation of all those VMs up there at the bottom, uh, actual uh, live connection of those VMs, and at the top are about, uh, I don't want to say, 500 uh, different media streams, video streams, all running off exactly one card. It was uh, truly amazing. So thanks for joining us, Craig. I think today we've covered a pretty good uh, look inside the M610X with its PCIe capabilities and how they marry pretty well with the Fusion I.O., uh, I.O. Drive, and I.O. Drive Duo, and how that technology can help your customers accelerate applications in their data center. So remember, if you're looking for delicious bowls of IOPS, hundreds of them, deployed in your data center at extremely low cost, check out Fusion I.O. on FusionIO.com or check out M610X at Dell.com or go to your DellTechCenter.com to check out more information. And always remember, you can always contact your local Dell sales rep today. For Craig Connor from Fusion IO, this is Chris Christian from Enterprise Product Group thanking you and have a good day. <laughs>